Good day everyone. So, you've probably been there. Your friend just invited you to a new Minecraft server. You decide to agree to make some new memories in Minecraft. You spawn in and you see a player near you. So you approach, but to your disbelief you get killed. And at that point you realize it's a PvP server and also because you lost a heart you realize that it's lifesteal and all this makes you want to get revenge so for that you build a base very far away from the spawn so no one can find you and you set up a mine and some farms there you really put a lot of time into it but to your surprise after some time you get killed and blown up by a player that has way better gear than you what you didn't know was that the player was cheating this whole time and got the materials for the gear by x-raying and it wasn't legitimate in any way but at this point it's too late the server has already lost you you don't want to grind again you don't want to try to get things again because it's boring, it's all just mining. So after throwing some toxic messages in the chat and receiving some, you decide to leave. And three days later, the server dies. And this happens again and again. And the cycle just repeats itself. And eventually you have lost a lot of your time on these servers. So, with that out of the way, what am I going to discuss in this video? Well, you've read the title. Everything I just said can be fixed with a non-PVP server, or also known as a peaceful server, which is basically a survival server where you don't fight nor do any battles, but you build and things like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that you don't fight, because there are some exceptions, but it just mainly means that the server isn't really competitive. So first, I will try to explain all of the problems we have encountered in the intro and you have encountered on that server. Then I will try to explain why there are problems. And then I will try to explain how to fix them. So first, let's go over the problems that you've experienced. The main problem is that the server didn't last long and wasn't fun, but there are multiple reasons for that and so let's go over them. The first reason would be that there was just too much grind. When you try to do something else, it just wouldn't work, you'd die and get blown up. This grind is caused because there's too much weight placed on gear and armor and tools and all of that. And that means that the people that get this gear and all these tools as fast as possible well those are going to have an advantage the thing is those people that get it the fastest they already have an advantage they have better skill at that task so that means that the people who already have good skill well they are going to get even more advantages this causes a growing gap and because there is so much weight placed on just gear and tools that causes cheating and all of this accumulates in toxicity so what do these problems cause and why are they actually problems so with the first problem with there being too much grain that's kind of self-explanatory you can't really do anything else because if you tried to do something else like I don't know, build a house, you just get it blown up. So that means the only real thing you can do is just grind and mine and do the same all over again. And all in all this just means that you aren't really going to get any new good memories because there isn't really anything new you're doing. I mean, I don't think anyone out here really enjoys mining or cutting down trees or trading with villagers it just isn't fun and when you try to have some contact with other people then it's going to end in you getting blown up and so that means that you can only really get gear this means that 
since it's the only important thing, there is too much weight placed on that gear and on those tools and on those items which means that there is way more competition and there are two problems caused by this a there is a growing gap between the better and worse players because as i said the better players are already predisposed to being better at fights and all that and so they have it easier which means they get better gear which means they have it even easier than the others and that means that there is just a giant gap between the players and the second problem because there is too much weight placed on the stuff you have that causes cheating because you want to be the best you want to win this competition which means that you are going to try to do it any possible way and it's incredibly easy to cheat for gear and armor and stuff like that because you really only need ores and all that. And that means that you can just easily use x-ray. And also if you want to find someone's base then there are cheats for that too. And those are the two only things you are going to be doing which is a getting stuff and b killing people and destroying stuff and for both of those things there are cheats so people are just going to use them because they are super easy and all of this leads to toxicity and this kind of repeats because the better players that for example win usually get listened to more than the bad players or the less skilled players let's say which means there's less democracy, which means that servers like this are going to repeat. Now, so we have discussed that this is a big problem. So how can you fix it? First, let's go over some of the theory around this. So it's all about making a non-PVP server. And let's go over how well it fixes all of these five main issues I've laid out. So. First, a non-PVP server means more different stuff to do. You can build a base without being scared that someone will blow it up. You can build a shop without being scared that someone will steal everything and blow it up. And this all leads into less grindiness, which means there's not much weight placed on any stuff and gear because you don't need it now really. And you can just borrow from other people and you can build off of each other and it all means less competition and that means that there is no real gap between different skill levels anymore because well no more competition and you can just build off of each other as i said and because you don't need all that armor and all those tools that means no more cheating because well, there aren't really many ways to cheat in building. Maybe find some tutorials on YouTube, but those are really easy to see if someone has built a house from a tutorial. And there's also no real reason for there to be toxicity, because no one has ever killed anyone, blew up their house, or just done bad things to others. So basically, this fixes all of the problems with the PvP server, but in practice, it's way more difficult. For this to all happen, you first need to somehow present this idea. Maybe use this video and present this to the person that hosts the server. And if they aren't gonna agree, then that's very bad. It either means that you didn't do a good job or it just means that they don't want to. So then there is another different way and that is to get all of the people on the server to your side. And that doesn't really work well either. So you might want to try make your server with your people. But still, there is that thing of you having to get them to your side. So it's very difficult. So all in all, it is very difficult to make a new non-PVP server. But if you find good people, it definitely has benefits in the long term. There are also compromises. 
because a non-PvP server doesn't necessarily mean just building and no fighting and no actual fun. Because on non-PvP servers you can just host, for example, events like, I don't know, a battle or mini games or things like that. There can also be some background things taking place like having a shop and trying to be the best at that or having some kind of kingdoms and stuff. So there are a lot of possibilities. Actually, I would even say that there are many more possibilities with non-PVP servers than with the PVP servers. So all in all, I hope I managed to bring you over to my side. And before I end off, I want to say that this is all out of my own experience of being on servers like these. And of course this doesn't apply to every server. There are some great PvP servers I really like, like for example the Life series, which is made by Grian. But there are also many more non-PvP servers that are great, like Hermitcraft. And so I hope you learned something from this and I hope you are going to be able to make a better server after watching this. And thank you for watching. This is basically the end of the video for everyone who just wanted there to be for the main part. So you can just stop watching at this point. Now to more of a personal part. I have been on many servers like this and I always wanted to build a good server and for it to last. But I just couldn't because so many people just wanted to do PvP and stuff. And the bad thing is that this happened and most of the servers I was on happened in around 2020 to 2022. Which means that PvP was really popping off at that time. And that was very annoying because it meant that everyone wanted to do PvP. And, and so I would just go on these servers and it would always end the same and it would always be a giant waste of time. And so that was very annoying. Although I did get some servers up and running that weren't PvP. And those actually did last for a long time but the people didn't like them much because they wanted PvP. But I hope thanks to this video this will not happen to you and you will be able to make a better server than I did. So now with that said, see ya!